Hey, it's Steve with Entering in Space and back again on the Astro Patio. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been out here. It's bloody hot. It's been really clear though, so I can't complain. But I have been praying for rain, believe it or not. And I haven't bought any new equipment, so maybe there's something to that. Anyway, Optolong reached out to me and said, uh, would you like to try some of our filters? And they suggested different kinds. And the one that I picked this is the Optolong L Quad Enhance Filter. So it's a two inch threaded filter and it is meant for heavy light pollution. They recommend it up to Bortle 7 skies, which I happen to be in. And this is the ASI 2600 MM Pro. And in front of it are the Antlia 36 millimeter LRGB and SHO filters. And yes, what do I do? I filter stack. So I have a two inch threaded filter up here and my filters and my filter were here. So currently, and well, currently for the past couple of years, I have threaded on the Optolong L Pro uh, and it doesn't affect my narrowband images at all. Uh, you would think that that makes them, maybe make them darker, but it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna swap out filters. And I'm gonna put the L Quad on. And a project that I'm currently working on is M94, the Crocs i Galaxy. Uh, so tonight I'm going to shoot about 60 or 70 luminance subs, 240 second subs, and stack those against 60 or 70 L Pro subs, and jump into Pixon Sight and see if I can see a difference. See how the if the uh, L Quad lives up to its name of being uh, uh, more ejection, like halt, no, oh, do not pass, you shall not pass. Light pollution, Lord of the Rings. Anyway, that's the plan tonight. Uh, wish me luck and uh, oh yeah by the way prior to this video this is my masking tape rotator you can see it here <sighs> yeah you just line them up and it's pretty dang close so this is a poor man's rotator so let's shoot some subs tonight and put them into pixin sight stack them and make a comparison and see what we see see what we see just from an auto stretch and then uh, from a little light processing a little light processing. But anyway, thanks again, Optolong, for sending this filter over. Because you definitely read my mind. You know, I always need as much light pollution uh, rejection as I can get here in the central Florida skies. So it's greatly appreciated. And they sent that to me for free. And all they asked for me to do was review it. And I'm reviewing it. Fun, huh? All right, guys. I'll see you at the computer. Okay, it's been a few days and I have finished the project. Uh, also, started working on another project. Surprise, wait till the end. Um, and so yeah, let's see. So what I did is I did about 40 lights. So you can see over here, I've got L Pro stack and an L Quad stack. Um, use the same flats for both. So it's just the lights. So yeah, so let's check out the L Pro. So kind of what I've expected. For some reason, some of my lights on the L Pro, I've got some little ringing in here. Not really sure what's going on with that one. But you can kind of see this gradient, heavy gradient in Bortle 7 light polluted skies. Even though, yeah, this one really is kind of leaning more uh, south of the zenith. So it's definitely picking up some light pollution. So that is the L Pro. Let's open up the L quad stack. Uh, so what do you think? I think I noticed quite a bit of difference. The gradient is a little less. It's a little more uniform. Um, definitely kind of darker in here than the L pro. L pro seems to be just a little more washed out. L quad seems to be handling some of it a little heavier. So what I thought I would do for another test is scratch my face a lot uh so what i thought i'd do for another test is i'm gonna do a dve so i've kind of set one up pre-set it up so i don't bore you with some big sample points i've saved it down here and to get sample points all the way across the board i had to go to a tolerance of 5.5 so i'm hoping that with the l quad i could reduce that and still have all my sample points generated so let's run it and see this ugly mess so this is the L Pro filter stack. Yeah, you can see the little ring in there that I've got for some crazy reason, but it flatted out pretty good. 
with a tolerance of 5.5. So push this down here, close the tool. Let's open up the L quad stack here. Let's dump the same thing on there. So let's drop that tolerance down. Let's drop it down to 1.5 and click uh, generate. So you can see I've got to start increasing that number to get the sample points. And that kind of tells me that's a real quick primer to tell me, you know, where I'm at as far as how heavy the gradient is. So going to a 2.5, we, we have all of them in here except for this bottom corner. Do a 3.5, generate again, and look, we've got them all. So that really tells me that I didn't have to be as aggressive with the L quad. So I definitely think it helps. I think this filter stacking with the L quad has definitely made a huge difference. Let's pull that off. That's gonna be our L quad DVE. Let's hit the check mark and stretch it. Yeah, we be in. I like that. And I still got a little bit here, but I think it did a much better job. Let's close the tool. Yes, let's minimize that. So now let's open them up kind of side by side of old M94. Yeah, I mean, not that the L Pro data isn't salvageable, even with that ring in there. Just think I've got a better, I mean, you can tell just from the DBE. I've got a much better image to work with on this side. So I think the L quad made a huge difference. So let's look at the uh, the final image, M94. Yeah, that's some really good data on this, about 20 hours total. You'll probably get some of that purple out of that one. So you can see I've got some really good, uh, really good structure data in the center of this thing. Turned out to be a pretty cool one. I actually got some little galaxies in here as well. I don't know, what do you think? I mean, I know it's YouTube and I know you're like, I eh, can't really see. What are you showing me? Uh, but maybe, maybe you're digging it. I, I'm definitely digging it. I, th I feel like this outer portion of, let's just zoom in here. Anybody else having struggles with their um, WWBP struggling to get some star trail or sat trails out? Now, granted, it's only 40 subs, so maybe that's it. Just doing a quick comparison side by side, zoomed in. I mean, I think this L quad data is much better, much better contrast. I mean, you can definitely see the separation between the outer portions of the galaxy and the inner portion. So I'm gonna call it a victory. Um, yeah, and especially because here in these super bright skies that I dwell in and shoot under and refuse to travel to dark sky sites because I'm a troll and I'm anti-people and I'm an introvert, uh, so I just, you know, just hang out in the backyard all the time. Um, so I decided to start, while I was making this video, decided to start shooting the Iris Nebula. And if any of you guys have seen the Iris Nebula, loads of dark nebula around it. And dark nebula has eluded me for my whole astrophotography career. It's just not something that I've really sought to capture. I see some of these images, man, and dark sky sites that these people are shooting. And they're getting these incredible uh, luminance images with dark nebula and i'm jealous <laughs> i'm really jealous so i just shoot lots of hydrogen targets but but i've been shooting the iris nebula so i've got about eight hours on it right now with the l quad and uh yeah yeah crazy thing is let's go here and file oh that file open uh, 2600 I'm shooting with the 80 millimeter this time iris just did a quick test so let's go in here to master the uh, master light let's close the two rejections and do a stretch yeah so <laughs> this is what I started with. And I'm like, eh, I'm not really seeing much, you know? And then I pull the stars and I'm like, what? Yeah, so I pull the stars, shrink them down, use my little star technique to put it back in. So this is what I started with. And you can, you know, you're still gonna have some gradients down here, but it's definitely flatting out very well. Um, and then obviously, I mean, Look at the details. I mean, I still have a ways to go at about eight hours. I'm still need to probably add some more integration time. 
but dude, bruh, bruh. I mean, I wish I would have offset a little bit better. Those are little ghosty guys. And yeah, they're a little spongy because I, I need some more data. But I mean, from a, a distance here, this is Boral 7, people. With the L quad. Thread it on to the front of the um, focal reducer. And the 80 millimeter mead triplet reduced to 384 millimeters and a 2600 MC or MM Pro. Why do I want to say MC? Because I'm the MC. Chugga, 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 chugga. Yeah. I listen to a lot of rap music. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. I'm like excited. So I can highly recommend the L quad as an addition to even in, even with mono shooters like me. Add it to the front of your coma corrected. Add it to the front of your um, field flattener or focal reducer. Uh, put it right in front of the other filters that you're using in the filter wheel. And I think you're going to notice a tremendous difference. So yeah, so I will leave a link in the description below for my High Point Scientific affiliate link. If you feel like picking one of these up, they're not bad. I think they're a couple hundred bucks. Actually, let's look. It's uh, off screen here. Let's check it out, man. High point scientific. Let's try to get over. Shaka! Look at that. Shaka, shaka! So, L quad. Oop. Back space. Quad. There it is. 199 bucks. Yeah. In stock. I mean, See, I can get that now, I think, in my backyard. I'm going to shoot that one whenever I can. I don't know when it's up. But yeah, I've never shot the Sharky. I think I can get it. I think I can. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Check them out. 199 bucks. You can't beat it. Oh, whatever high point. So, uh, so yeah, L quad. L Pro. I didn't do it without anything video or without anything video, without anything image. Probably should have. But this shows you a pretty good comparison. I think the DBE was a pretty good comparison uh, test. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you, Optalong, for sending that to me. And it is going to become a permanent part of the entering into space arsenal. All right. Where am I at? I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, pre pre appreciate you watching. And definitely leave me a, uh, a note or comment. Let me know if you pick one up. Let me know what you experience as well. Send me some images. I always appreciate that. And uh, yeah. Excited. 101 videos now coming to you. All right. Thanks, guys. Until next time, clear skies and clear minds.